So uh, here we are in the uh, east end of Toronto. Mark and I are heading out to see um, Margaret Clue's home, uh, home base studio. It's uh, a beautiful day in Toronto, yes. as you can see. Yeah, cold and rainy for uh, Day of the Dead. Yeah, yeah on November 2nd. Um, I've known, uh, I've been a Facebook friends with Margaret for, I don't know, maybe five or six years and I've been following her work. And uh, in fact, a couple of years ago, I had texted her about coming by and seeing her studio. Um, just never happened. It was actually closer just to, in this neighborhood, but um, she moved and I moved and life got uh, <laughs> complicated. But here we are. We're going to go down and see Margaret's work. Uh, all these stretchers on Jeez. Margaret's uh, porch. Uh, no doubt waiting uh, canvas. Excellent. I'm going to do a pan around. Wow, look at all this work. Oh my gosh. You, do you paint every day then? Pretty uh, much? Most days. Not yeah. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. yeah. But it's a pretty much a, a full time yeah, I preoccupation. Know, I don't sort of sit there and, or stand there and work for eight hours. <laughs> work and then I go do something in the garden and then, you know, it's back and forth. So. Yeah, that's one of the things I was going to maybe talk about is like the, the difference about having a studio in your house as opposed to having one externally where right. you have to go out for the day. Yeah, I think I would work longer hours at a stretch if I had to yeah. go somewhere. Yeah, 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 but yeah. at home, you know, you stop and you have something to eat or you That's right. Yeah, yeah. Else. Right. Are there How distractions working at home? No, because it's just me here. So just That's right. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. kids are all grown up. Yeah, so. yeah. No yeah, phone yeah. ringing. No. Well, I just uh, I leave my phone upstairs and okay. I don't even hear. Yeah, and some yeah, people yeah. might be distracted by just having the computer yeah, yeah. and the internet nearby, yeah. or well, having, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, the temptation to oh, I'm going to take a five minute break and yeah. well, go on do, the internet yeah, and I then do. go on for three yeah. hours. Yeah, no, I don't, yeah. I don't do but that. The, I do okay. take breaks. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes. Sometimes it's good just to, you know, work intensely for a short time and then take the time to think about it for quite a while. Like right. to just not do anything and right. think about where you might go next. Right. Yeah, I remember I used to uh, just sit, sometimes sit in the studio for two or three hours yeah. with a drawing in front of me and then like, you get up for 10 minutes. Well, that's exactly how I think. I <laughs> yeah, sit and yeah, look yeah. and then I do three things on the canvas and I sit and look. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No, what, 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 one um, thing the viewers can... Don't back can, up because that painting's wet. Those are wet. Oh, get okay. it on your clothes. Okay. One thing the, the viewers can get is the olfactory component of this. The, the smell of fresh paint is uh -huh. everywhere. So how, how yeah. does that feel to live? Because I, I know that feeling myself. Right. Living immersed, you're immersed in your painting, not just visually, but right. all of the senses. Right. How yeah. does that feel? You're, you're here and is it, is, these are oils? Yeah. yeah. That's oil, what it smells yeah. like. So yeah. you're, you, know, you are breathing in the oils all day long. I am, yeah. yeah. I don't. <laughs> and I, all gave, night. I gave up using turpentine <laughs> right. for that reason years ago. That's I used good. to use yeah. turpentine. And I would come home from going out, yeah. and the whole house would just... So do you, do you use, like, mineral spirits? Or? I do. Yeah. I use, yes. not a lot, but I yeah. do use yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, you, well, I guess you can get odorless chirps, but... Well... Um, maybe that's what mineral spirits are. Well, they often <laughs> refer to it as odorless chirps. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's, yeah. Actually yeah, I haven't worked in oil in a long time. Yeah. When I did, I actually started working with the water-soluble oil. Oh, I've never tried those, actually. Yeah. Did you like them? I hadn't worked in with regular oil yeah. in like years and years, so right. I, I had nothing to compare it to. Right, right. But I did like it. Yeah. So my, I mean, I mostly work in acrylic, but uh -huh. oil is so much more sensual. Like so, yeah. Yeah. I think of I think of oil paint as analog and and, and acrylic as digital. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I when Something I first started organic. painting, I started in oil, so I've never really yeah. worked in acrylic. Yeah. And the yeah. few times yeah. that yeah. I've yeah. tried. Yeah. I find the fast drying just totally disconcerting. Like, yeah, I and you, you I, wouldn't. I can't do anything more with this. It's already dry. Well, that's it. And <laughs> you would, you, you, you wouldn't get the same um, tactile, uh, visceral quality. No, it's it's very different. And also, there's a, a slight color shift. At least I found there was. It gets slightly darker as it dries. And yes. that I found really. I found that the oil uh, is more luminous, or felt more luminous than right, acrylic. Right. Right. Um, possibly, yeah. especially when you thin it, the sense of transparency and the overlaying of colors, but... Yeah, you, <clears throat> yeah. excuse me, you can, uh, I mean, you can use it so many different ways. Yes. From very thin to just thick, 
globby, buttery. Yes. Yeah. And, and combinations, and I like that. Yeah, the ones that, the, that you can see are... These are all... Well, these three are still wet, so they're... Quite That's busy. fairly recent, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, I think I've seen this one online. I Maybe I've so. seen them all. Are, oh, are these yeah. going to be in your upcoming show? No, that's already up and home. Oh, okay. And there were smaller works, were they? Or were they uh, the the biggest one? was, um, is 4x6. Okay, so, yeah. And yeah. then some more that are middle size and just a few small ones. Because I don't do a lot of small ones. Small is too hard. <laughs> All right. So why don't you give us a tour and show us the... Uh, um, the studio. Where, the studio, where you were. Okay. And, you know, you go ahead and you know. Yeah, I know, isn't that gorgeous, the black and white and red? All right, wow, so here's the actual studio. And that, that wonderful painting is my two and a half year old grandson. Oh! <laughs> I saw the, the photos yes. on Facebook he's, of him working, wow. When he comes over, when he comes over, he always does a bit on that. He's been going there since, <laughs> oh, I don't know, Kind of, kind of a little, little bit Sai Chuangli, yeah. Uh, hmm? Or John Mitchell. Yeah, John Mitchell, yeah. <laughs> so this is the piece that's currently uh, being worked on. Yeah, and I have no idea where to go next to this. This is one I've been sitting and looking at a lot yeah. the last couple of days. Wow. Zoom in here. Now that's the next question. How do you determine where to go next? Besides, is it an intuitive process or do you see something coming out of the painting that says, oh, I would like to work on this next? Is um, there a direction that I, what's there's there no, might no be? There's no sort of preconceived <laughs> idea of where mm -hmm. I want it to go, but if I look at it long enough, I can figure out what it is that's bugging me hmm. and start there. But as soon as I start working on it, of course, you change one thing here and something else over there changes. Mm -hmm. And so it's just yeah, the whole yeah, process yeah, starts yeah. again. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, you know, in, in discussions um, of my own work, I often just say every piece has its own internal logic. Right. 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 You just got to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, and I've heard it described too as a. Um, well, sometimes it's a dialogue, and some people would say an argument. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. definitely a back and forth. Yeah. I have to also ask, going up, what's going on in your mind internally during these action moments? Look at these very vibrant, there's a lot of activity going on here. Is this, is it rage? Is it calm? Is it no, just... It's, there, you know, there isn't any, uh, it's yeah. not emotional, yeah. it's, yeah. it's uh, yeah. in fact, when I'm painting, it's kind of an escape from all of that, it's mm -hmm. a way of mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. into another headspace mm -hmm. altogether. Mm -hmm. um, so, what's behind, me? part of what's behind it is I was working, putting white over black, mm -hmm. and the only way I could do, can do that is to sort of, Slab it on really quickly. Yeah, quickly. yeah. Think, yes. not, not let it blend too much. Yeah, and then there's sort of a dialogue between the white and the black. <laughs> they have to get along. Yeah. They do. Um, I'm not sure this painting's getting along very well yet. Um, I keep turning it around too. I do that a lot when I work. I work on it for different sides, different angles, yeah. Yeah, different directions. Yeah, I mean, so I've been following your work on Facebook for years and. Uh, mm -hmm. It just, of course, it's you have to see it in 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 the flesh, it's eh? Especially since I look at Facebook yeah. on my phone all the yeah. time, yeah. tiny little images. Yeah. Then you see the real thing. Somebody's I mean, the beautiful person. thing about looking at art on a screen is that there's a luminosity to it. Yeah. That you, but it's not the real thing. No. You know, I, these blues would really kind of like glow on a screen, uh -huh, uh -huh. but it's not really the true picture. And when you which see, is, which makes. Um, photographing something and getting it right, yeah. it, I find it difficult because that luminosity oh. is really seductive. But that's not it is, but it's not really. It's a whole. Like. It's like a whole other um, twist on it or yeah. <laughs> permutation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, there's a big temptation, of course, to go with what looks really great on the screen <laughs> rather than to wow. try to actually get what you're seeing. I have a friend who's been posting a bunch of watercolors. 
and they're just glorious because they're on, online. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, they're probably glorious in person too, but just something about that glow. Right, right. <laughs> it's almost like you want to take a photograph and put it on a photo box. <laughs> well, it, it's true too. I mean, if you take a photograph and then you print it, no matter how good yeah. you are at printing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a huge difference there between is. a there is. print of a yeah. photograph and an image on the screen. It's, one is, is translucent and the other is not. That's right. When I was, um, I, well, for about 10 years, I was working in a more abstract vein. Um, and then I would photograph them and then um, change them in a photo program. Oh, so basically, yeah. I would call them remixes. Right. I would do new paintings based on this, the... Oh, yeah. yeah. And that was kind of neat, because then you could play with the saturation, and right. you could invert right. colors, and um, but with no, um, you know, uh, inclination to pretend it's a painting. <laughs> right, right. I have done that. I've gone, I've taken photographs of work that's not finished, and then yeah. just played with it and played with some of those drawings. Yeah. Yes, exactly, yeah, yeah. What would yeah. it look like if I made this all yeah. white? yeah, yeah. But then once I go back to paint, it yeah. just has a life of its own. It doesn't go the way I thought it might. And you have no undo button or no redo button. No. no. <laughs> what happens when you try to do something and you go, oh my God, I just ruined that area? Uh, that oh, that happens worked. constantly. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. <laughs> do you um, scrape like, off? I know I, a lot of people scrape. I scrape yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Um, sometimes that's the reason for the areas of sick paint, though, is because mm -hmm. I keep looking over it. I'm not patient enough often to wait and let it dry, and work right. over it dry. Uh, so it does get pretty mucky at times. Yeah. And I do, yeah, I do scrape off quite a lot. Right. And okay, yeah, these yeah. Wonderful tonal paintings with not much color. <laughs> Were they, do they teach like the traditional fine art where you do the underpainting? And, no. no, okay. No. Yeah. No, I had a teacher who was really good for me because he basically. He didn't give a lot of information. He just Encourage. told you to go to it. I'm just going to move around just to, make, just to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, which worked, worked really well for me, um, yeah. that way of teaching. Yeah. So it started with Rembrandt. And then once I started, oh, I have to say too, when I was painting at home then, I mean, at the class I was painting for the model, but at home I was, I was mm -hmm. painting landscapes basically and i got really into color and so then i'm looking at the impressionists and then i'm looking at bonar yeah fell in yeah, love with yeah, bonar yeah, and his yeah. color which oh, i think is just glorious better than anything so else glorious ever. oh i know yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, have you seen any uh, bonar in in person i haven't I, i've seen a few yeah you i've seen a few like had okay a few. yeah I but was, I, I imagine seeing a whole show that I would be seen so a whole show, but i oh was in paris maybe 12 or 15 years ago yeah. and saw you know, they Bice them all. Oh my up. God! Oh yeah, yeah they're so glorious. Yeah. Um, yeah, but what about like the the you know the famous abstract expressionists? Oh yeah, the, yeah. Those um, folks. Any of those people jump out or? I don't see any of that. <laughs> 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 Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of where my heart is. Really. Yeah. I yeah. Quite a bit sooner than yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, a number of them. I I for a while it was totally Rothko, okay, which is yeah. nothing that like the way I do yeah, it, yeah. I still really love Rothko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. De Kooning, Mother De Kooning. Not so much Pollock, yeah. not so much Klein. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, just that whole, yeah, that yeah. whole period. Yeah, right? yeah. And what about like, uh, before those guys, like we were, we were talking about Hoffman, like with the, the blocks and the grids. Did he, Hans Hoffman? You know, my work is sometimes been compared to, yeah, yeah, to Hoffman. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I see why, because of some of the blocky, the blocky kinds of yes, shapes yeah, and divisions yeah. of space and stuff, but he's not one of my favorites. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I appreciate what he did, but he's not someone well, that I really... it seems very like. academic and theoretical yeah, but, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, doesn't have the feeling and the, right. the... I think some of his later works maybe got more kind of loose, yeah. but... Um, and I, to be honest, I've never seen a whole show of his work. Yeah, I might yeah, feel completely Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know how it is eh, when yeah, you see something yeah. in, in person. Yeah. Um, um, I think he, 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 Korn, I really like. Yeah. All yeah. three phases yeah. of Stephen Korn. Yeah. Work, I really enjoy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. 
So you were doing landscape, and then what, can you lead us from landscape to... <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, this, this is the leap. Um, well... Was it a sudden yeah. leap, or was there, were there intervals? No, it was a, a more gradual thing. I was, mm -hmm. I was trying to abstract the landscape for a while, mm -hmm. you know, looking at people like Milton Avery and mm -hmm. oh, yeah. who else, but... And that wasn't working very well. I wasn't making very good paintings. Mm -hmm. um, and then I decided to try pure abstraction. And I think for two years I made nothing but garbage. I just found it a completely it, it, different it, thought process. It takes a while. Like people, we yeah. talk about this. People think making abstract art is like easy. But to do it well is really... And it's, it's a different kind of thought process yeah, somehow. Yeah, All the yeah, things that yeah, I had learned, I yeah. kind of had to start over in a way and learn something yeah, different. Yeah, so yeah, and you have to... I, I cringe when I remember yeah. some of the things yeah, I did yeah, then yeah. at first. Yeah, and you've, you've definitely found, um, I, I don't like using the word style, but a way of working that um, seems... Um, I don't, mature is the word that comes to mind, but like it's developed because you've worked through the process. Yeah. And, yeah. um, you know, w before coming, Mark and I were like looking at, at stuff online and talking about like the, the things that jumped out for us were there's a bit of like a lexicon of symbols and signs or right, types right. of um, um, brush strokes you use, right. um, like your own um, alphabet, maybe, or. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. It's yeah. not always. I don't always do what I think I want to do. I, yeah. There are certain ways I make marks that just yeah. keep yeah. coming out. Even yeah. if I'm trying to push myself somewhere else. They, it's, I guess it's like, you know, it's like your handwriting. You write the way you write. This is, well, I, kind of, yeah, and I was, I was reading your um, artist statement on your website, and I'm going to have it in the, in the video. Um, because I think it's beautiful in, in how you capture your process oh, you. and a little bit about the body you talk about how the body um, I forget the words I actually brought it but <laughs> uh, I, should, I should be able to quote it I, I know can. I know but it, but but it was it was almost like there was a trust in the body and yeah. in marks to tell the truth about right, yourself right and yeah. I think that's why I like I really like five foot canvas because it feels like about my size yeah yeah it feels yeah. like it engages all of me at once in the process and i think small is hard because i'm always outside it i'm yeah, not yes exactly not inside yeah. the painting i'm yeah. somewhere back from it because it's yeah, and then and then the two, two big ones are really big ones and I, I do like working big but i i i i there's a certain like you feel dwarfed by it yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not your uh dimensions and at the distance you are standing when you're working yeah. Yeah. you can't actually see the whole thing yeah. yeah you know you can turn your head or whatever but looking straight at it it becomes bigger than your exactly your right point. And right there's something really <laughs> wonderful about that for me yeah 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 <laughs> i did a couple that were i've only ever done a couple that were eight feet and that was challenging because it was just a little bit Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. I could get used to it if I yeah. had a big space. But. Well, exactly. You have to have to have the space, and then and then you have to have the page. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I was watching a, a, a documentary online about um, actually, I, mean, I think it was a James Com video about uh, Joan Mitchell. Oh yeah. Uh, show a, a retrospective, and she had done this series of four canvases that she mm -hmm. linked together, who weren't actually painted as. Right. But I think there were two separate um, larger canvases, uh, like like diptychs, right. which she then put together into a, you know, oh, yeah. a four-part panel, which was kind of interesting. I mean, that was her way of making a big painting. Um, yeah, and I like the way she, she uses panels because they don't look like it's just something that should have been all on one canvas but actually has a division. There's, yeah. There's a break. Yeah, yeah, each yeah. yeah. Edge, you, and, you, and you have to sort of look for the relationships. That's right. You know that they're separate uh, um, episodes almost mm -hmm. of of mm -hmm. of the larger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, she did that beautifully. Yeah. I I find this is, this space is too small though for things like that. You know, uh, yeah, you would. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. No. No. This, this is a good size, even a little bit. Um, because um, Rothko talked about how his paintings, even though they're abstract, where he saw them as paintings about his life. Right. And then I saw a great um, um, movie a couple months ago where they were showing his studio. 
and how the windows in the studio were the same shapes from the paintings. Oh, and it's like, and he was actually painting right. his studio and the space around him. Right. And um, so that's a segue into, does your, the physical space around you find their way into your paintings? I'm sure it does. I'm, I'm not sure if I can articulate right. that. Right, but okay, not, yeah. Well, just by you living in the yeah, space yeah. and living in a community. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always sort of uh, struggled with that, right? Because I, I, I like living in a house and, you know, I have a family and it's just... And, but it does change the way you make art, right? Like if you had a giant factory, you could make... It'd be unlimited and you get a massive painting, but... Right. I don't know, somehow this is a reflection of your life because, it is, it is. you know, these are house size paintings. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And actually that's not a bad thing probably because other people can put them in their houses. Exactly, yeah. exactly, it, right. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. Also yeah. the gallery size, right, for yeah. Toronto galleries. Yeah. There aren't yeah. a lot of galleries here that are vast. No, that's true. Um, many of them are smaller size yeah. and these would... Yeah. These would look yeah. quite sizable on it in a Toronto gallery, but but they'd get lost. Maybe. They would get lost, maybe. Maybe, well, maybe yeah. not. Maybe. You listen to music, or if you feel uh, an affinity between I, your paintings I and music. I listen to music when I paint, and I, I uh, and when I listen to music, I often want to shut my eyes. It's like okay. I feel like yeah. I can't really okay. hear when I'm looking, and I can't really see when I'm listening. Okay, I, I, okay, it feels yeah. Like, um, I need to focus on one or the other. One or the so other. I prefer to have nothing on. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, I know when I'm at concerts, I always close my eyes. It's like, why go see people live? I'm not even looking at well, them. Well, yeah, I do that too. I, <laughs> I feel that way too. Because I hear better yeah. somehow yeah. when I do yeah, that. Same here, same here, yeah. You <laughs> can isolate the sound yeah. from yeah. the visual. I think maybe when, when you're a visual person, you're always reading the visual. Visual is too distracting. Um, that you need to uh, shut that down. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think so. I have a question about your color choices. Uh -huh. I see things happening like that, that look like a, um, warm versus co cool colors mm -hmm. looking against each other. Mm -hmm. The pinks and the reds uh, against the blues, for example. And then I'm also thinking a little bit about Bernard. Um, you started mm -hmm. off by saying Rembrandt. Mm -hmm. And I recall looking at some of your works online. There was there were uh, some there was an exhibit where a lot of sort of almost monochromatic mm -hmm. kinds of works. Mm -hmm. We're looking at much more well, not mo monochromatic now, are we? Is there mm -hmm. is it is, is there a reason for this leap to color? Is it a re-embracing of whatever it was that drew you to a Bernard <laughs> way way back? Um, is there something else? I think I go back and forth. I absolutely love black and white paintings, especially mm -hmm. paintings that are mostly black. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I will get to a point where I just absolutely have to have color. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then I can have too much color. Yeah. Too. So yeah. I've, yeah. I, I mean, I've done series in both, both kinds of paintings. Um, yeah. Yeah, this, 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 I could sit here for hours and get lost in um, some drips or... You know, right, or, right. Yeah, there's just so much happening. Yeah, um, if, they, if they come too quickly, it doesn't feel like there's enough. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, when those are yeah, ones I always yeah. end up going Right, to right, right. They just right. feel like I, I didn't spend enough time. Right, because these are like an accrual of, um, yeah. of days, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Accumulation of days and moments. and yeah. Do you find when you um, go back, sometimes I find I go back to a painting two or three years later and then I... I start remembering what was going on in my life at that time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the memories are embedded in the paintings. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Better lights. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Huge accumulation. Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, so now, like, so now you're seeing a whole... Uh, the whole spectrum, yeah, yeah. quite literally, array so of the different this colored. Made me think of Bernard, or at least there was a painting at the AGO which had just brilliant yellow sunlight uh -huh. blasting into uh, uh, into a, yeah. a room, and the colors just 
yeah, bring it to me. Some of his kind of makes me think of very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. There, 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 yeah. I'm uh, kind of a restless Because there never is a final painting, right? There's no, never an ultimate work where you can say, that's it, I have been able to sum up everything right. that I've been aiming for no, in this no, one work. You absolutely can, or I can. Right. I hear it looks like you sprayed a bit yeah, uh, I, originally I, and then painted it. Right. I think upstairs I saw some yeah. of the. Oh, mm -hmm. that one. Has yeah. Some oh, yeah. Spray. Yeah. It's a neat effect. Yeah. I like it. I like the contrast. It feels yes. Feels very soft. Yeah. Um, yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the other one. Um, Mark and I uh, last week or two weeks ago we saw the Harold Town show at. Oh, uh, I haven't seen that. Christopher Cutts. Oh my God. Yeah. Do you like mm -hmm. town? I like a lot of town. I don't yeah. like absolutely everything. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, it, yeah. it's uh, even in, in that show there were uneven, two but... rooms. It's uneven. even. One of them looked like unfinished paintings, oh, yeah. and one of them was. Um, I think what I liked was the more hard edge, uh -huh. flat, designy kind of stuff. Right. Um, right. But um, just the play of paint. That's what like is so exciting, yeah. and and I'm seeing some of that kind of play in your work. Um, Exploration, improvisation. Good camera in that color looks good. Yeah. No, it's uh we've been talking for years about because we watched James Calm report and Mark yeah, was saying, Oh, why don't you do this? And I just I was waiting to have a good camera. And right. I got this phone right. a couple months ago and it's like, oh, it's yeah. actually had a good camera. We can see some of the uh, spray painted stuff yeah, back you here. Oh, well, that would be cool if you don't mind. We'd love to. Those two blacks, black and yeah. Well, we don't there. have to go all the way that far back, but let's just. Oh, but I would love oh, to. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, this I'm seeing some side Twombly. Oh, just sort of the. Yeah, maybe, that. maybe that's it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the. Uh, like the more undefined space. Right. Now he has right. these big and with a few little kind of. Um, yeah, this is yeah. one I didn't work on as long. You know, okay, so you get that sense that, that quite, you know, maybe waiting for for some more maybe. <laughs> moments. Maybe. I don't know. Because <laughs> right now, what I gravitate yeah. towards is this, where there yeah. is more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yes, yes. <laughs> who am I thinking of with these lines like that? Is it the Kooning or anyway? Yeah. Don't want to, yeah. Anyway, they're yours. They're uniquely yours. I don't want to be oh, I don't, I don't uh, diminish them. I, mean, I, find, um, I find various things. Now, what this about, one has those little markings that we were talking about. This one has more distinct yes, markings, yes, right? Right. Yeah. Gestural, right. 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 Almost symbolic, like, um, almost. Uh, um, yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. one has been through a few incarnations, actually. I can no longer remember what it looked like before. I reworked it at least twice, you know, after I thought I'd finished with it. I went back to it. I think, I think that was part of the original, but I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know for sure. The black at the bottom, yeah. Black. Yeah. And it's almost so like, like you know, anyway, I don't want to like, give them a definition, like bone or hand or whatever. Right? The beauty of it is that it's evocative as opposed to definitive. Right, right. right. Yeah. yeah, I, I, um, yeah. I get sort of nervous as I begin to <laughs> Yeah, 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 jumping out, oh, really look that. at that, oh wow. my god, oh my god, these wow. are so, these are so amazing, I'm so happy to finally see them, I think once I might have texted you about wanting to come to your studio, and that was a few years ago, when I you were living I, at the other house, and we so just, that uh, somehow it didn't happen, you yeah. moved, I moved, right, right. <laughs> um, you're kind of in the same area, roughly, aren't you? Not yeah, there. well, yeah, so... Um, the Danforth, there is yeah. also a lot of variety within your your uh, oeuvre, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Between going back and forth between color and black and white, you've, you've tried spray, you've 
working between spray and the and the brush strokes. And then some of them, which are the bigger ones, I realize that are collage. Yeah. Oh, and the collages, collages. yeah. There's a lot big, of black and white drawings. There is already yeah. quite a bit of variety yeah, within yeah. within all of your work. These are striking the the collages. So there's nothing constraining about your your approach. Back Ooh, oh, go. wow. Look at that. <laughs> Just, Did a lot of stripey ones for a while. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I personally like the stripe. I mean, I like it all, but I like the stripey. They really, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like it too. Really, and I, uh, that's something I do keep going back to. I like pattern. I don't like it if it becomes really purely. Yeah. These sort of areas that are kind of like yeah. repetitive mm -hmm. stuff. And these areas that are kind of scumbly or whatever you want to call them. Yes. Yeah. And then Pasto. balance with large um, kind of pauses or right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know we could uh, probably. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, the red, uh, red and black to me really is. Uh, Are you okay? I'm well, good. I, I, yeah, I want to get as much light in there as possible. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I can move them over here. Heavy the more you have to hold up. Yeah. And now, yeah. I, my question about your collage, or my, no, what I've noticed is that you've, you've cut up pieces of your own work to, to adhere to the canvas. Um, your collages are completely comprised of your own material. They're not found mm -hmm. material or found objects. Not usually, no. no. Okay. Sometimes. It's um, really but, interesting. Um, and I started doing these. Uh, I will take you upstairs and show you the bigger one, okay. which is easier than digging to the back. Sure. Um, because I had, I'd done a bunch of black and white drawings with ink and charcoal and stuff. They were quite big on really thick mm -hmm. absorbent paper. It was lovely paper. Mm -hmm. um, it was the kind of paper they sell for paper makers to use as right. a base. Right, right. Wow. And it was, uh, Wolfitz used to have it. It was really cheap and wonderful stuff to work on. But I had, I did about 30 of them, and I went through them and I picked out 15, but maybe 15 that I really liked, and I thought, I don't really like these other ones. And I started tearing them up and putting them <laughs> onto other things. So that was the start of... So it's a way of recycling your was, own... It was recycling them, and, and once they were torn up and recombined, I mean, Changed them so much. They're, they became, they're, they're amazing. They became something. So these are ink like. here. This is ink. You working in ink and then paint on that top. That was what was that? That might have been spray paint. Spray. Yeah, that looks like maybe spray paint yeah, over like something that was something over top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part yeah. Of it. yeah. 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 I ran out of those drawings, so I started making papers, especially to. Wow. To yeah, those. all the um, the the varied effects. Oh, look at that. The different papers. You can see the charcoal in there too. Textures. Yeah. You can actually see yeah. the charcoal and in this one. And some of this paper had such a nice thick roughness to it. It's just done quite recently. And I was creating different papers just for the purpose of tearing them up. Yeah. There, I mean, there's just some of this plain brown paper. Yeah, brown paper and some air, uh, some uh, spray paint. Yeah. 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 We can just sort of, it's okay to pull a few off and then we'll just, oh yeah. And those are a nice size to mm -hmm. work with for collage. Now, do you find that sometimes you'll do a collage and then that gives you an idea for a painting? Or, um, or the paintings, do they always just happen in the process anyway, right? No, they happen in the process. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. even if I were to start with an idea, <laughs> I know it goes away yeah. really totally. quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no. It's just not going to turn out that way. Yeah, I always felt that way, even when I do uh, figurative work into a, a drawing beforehand. It, I can't. Right. Otherwise, it's just like well, commercial you, art or something, right? It's just yeah. I mean, you, you, know, you want the I mean, process. You don't want to know where it's going to end. Up. Exactly. It to exactly. It's a journey. An adventure. Yeah. 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 Oh, one more. Oh, because yeah. here we get some blue. There you go. Oh. Yes. Yeah.